is up you guys it is Sean Red Kid here and well I have to do a review on this mode it just came out recently I I've been trying to do it but well I well what can I say about it first off this is dual mode this was recently released like two three weeks ago so Pretty much the premise of this mode is that you face Kate for the most part. It doesn't matter what deck you use, it doesn't matter if it's a deck that's good or bad, depending on you know what you think about it, right? And what you have to do is get wins. If you keep winning, you get prizes. Oh DR um I mean, I mean, uh, not DR, a uh, Death Fodder, uh, Flora here, which is what I really need to do right here. So, I get my two live, but I do get that taken away. So, that's an, an unfortunate loss right there. I'm only trailing by, like, five, so I can pretty much get it back. Four pill of money right here, and... And I'll just wait on their turn. The only bad thing is that they will use really good decks. I'm not joking. They will use great decks. You will see not just the the Phonos or the Boil or the Hilly Billy or Lizzie in this case um, for this example, but you're gonna also see like the DJ cores the Kiki CRs the dragon CRs you know like anything you rarely see in main game so okay I got this round I can go confidence with Krazen y'all go confidence with Krazen this turn and then if I lose this round, I'm not in a terrible position, and I do get the win of the round. Okay, perfect. Now I'm in a good spot right now, and hopefully going to keep the lead. And there's the mission right there. Um, and then I'm going to go uh, Gert Jared. I can um, SOA his... His attack boost, so that is what he loses. He only will go up to 42 attack. And my card is going to go up to 30 plus 16, so I'm going to get the 46 attack to get the win. That is pretty good. So I get that win right there. And. That is all for that first match. Damn, I did a lot of missions for that. I mean, a good thing for this mode is that, well, they do get... Uh, uh, <laughs> it actually allows you to work on your missions when you need to do them. So, like, I'm doing new blood missions, character missions, clan missions... Uh, other LD missions, so it really helps. And every time you win, uh, your your level will go up depending on how many wins you get. So, uh, first level will be three wins, second level will be five wins, and the third and last level is ten. If you get up to after eighteen wins, you do get all. The cards given out and then you can actually go for more points so you can level up more okay so for this battle they have Udge Tool, which is actually a bad choice to have um, but they do have the Vince which is actually a good thing um, for them in a way but then they also have Charlie and Ditha. Ugh. Ugh. 
yeah, I'll, uh, death water of flora again, right here. This is a pretty good decision for me because, like, I'm not gonna lose as much. Plus, I can get them hit too. So, so that's a good thing for me. And well, I'm gonna try and get the next round, right? So, I'll play the Gert Chain right here. Try to get that attack boost. Um, and the win. So, I can get the confidence for these two guys. So, they play the Ditha right here. I'm hope I was hoping they wouldn't do that. But then, oh my gosh. Why did you fury? Yes, get that round win right there. Get the lead right then and there. And now I'm gonna go for the. Uh, hmm. I think I should go confidence with uh, Simeon. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go confidence with Simeon. For this round, if they go all out, I lost it. But if they don't, I'm in a good position. But I do lose it because, well, Charlie is mad powered, man. <laughs> and you guys already know what I think about Charlie. You guys already know what I think about that card. <laughs> you guys already know about that. If you haven't, go check out that review. <laughs> And I'm sorry for the self-promotion. <laughs> oh, this is gonna suck. Man, they have the Adler, which is bad. So, I'm worried about that. I'm gonna start off with the Amani. Right here, so I can get something going off. Um, I SOA'd his ability, which is actually a good thing. And yeah, Thorpa's ability. Yeah, that... That's why I meant. So that I can uh, not worry about that next turn. I can only two pill for this turn because, well, I don't want to risk anything else. And if they did play Adler, I would be screwed. But they played the Brog, which I'm actually happy to see in a way. Yeah, so now I get the confidence abilities for both Simeon and Crazen. And I'm going to go Simeon. Uh, yeah, I'll take that risk right there. I'll, I'll take the risk right there. Yeah, I lost that risk. Should have went five pill. It's like, ugh. You know, a high risk but low reward, right? Um, this mode could be good for beginners. Really? They just changed it now? Okay. Um, after a certain time, they would change the card. So, like, if... You didn't get the cards from the last day. Um, it would suck. Um, because I don't live in France at all. And, and pretty much whatever happens here, time's going to be different. Like, the time over there is like 12, I'm thinking, right? It's 12 over there. And now it's like 4 o'clock. Um, it, it's going to depend on, um, on where you live, depending on, uh, like, what time it is. So, that's the problem with, um, this mode. Like, whatever happens, like, if you don't get all three characters in, in the 24 hours that, that they're up for, you know, skip it. But also, people have been complaining that it's mainly commons, which I can actually say, yeah, it is commons, but hell, you know, you're getting free commons 
and all you have to do is play. That works, you know? That helps the new players a lot, you know? Like, they don't have to spend the quits, nor have to use credits that they get just so that they can, you know, get new cards. You know, this is a great way for the newer players, you know? Just so that, like, oh, I can get free cards by just playing in this mode. The only difficulty is I have to worry about, like, what my opponent's going to use. <laughs> so, that's pretty much what this mode is, and, like... And people are really nitpicking that, like, oh, we need our lower level guys back. Like, we need them to pay so much quits just so that they can get their cards and we get more money. Um, if you guys go to, um, like, if you guys try to see, like, whenever I'm trying to sell cards on UR, no lie, I'm trying to make sure that, uh, it can benefit the players and myself you know like if I do um, get a lot of credits you know from missions from uh, buying online I mean from buying or doing offers you know like if I get new cards and they're doubles or um, like they're not that I don't need and and have to sell I'll try to make sure that players get a good price for it uh, so it, it can benefit them and I can benefit from the time that I used to get those cards and wow you just fell into my trap again Kate really you fell into my trap again oh man Man, you fell into my trap. Badly. Like, Flora is not a bad card to have if you're playing with this kind of deck, you know? Like, especially if you have, like, Amani with you as well. Oh, and, um, I've noticed, like, um, uh, like, uh, side note. Uh, from the battle against Charlie, like, like, this is for that battle, uh, I noticed, like, when, uh, like, when someone actually reviewed, like, one of the newer cards, like, they said that Charlie is not worth going after, you know, because Charlie isn't that great of a card. <laughs> okay. Um, I know this is, like, really different towards this uh, this video, but I need to like say something about this. What the hell is your freaking point? You know, like what are you trying to say about Charlie? Like you're saying Charlie is bad? You know? You're saying that it's not worth going after Charlie? W what's your point? You know, like w what's your freaking point? Going after a card when you know, like, it's a good card. 7 power, 8 damage, and then you have a DR ability and bonus. You know, you can really use that to someone's advantage. And then, like, you're saying, like, oh, like, all, all these other cards are better. No. Uh-uh. You, you can't say, like, a card's better because like oh it's new and it has like a great ability but it has been done before and done better like you you forgot like DJ Corsi R has been around you know you have Zornado you know who's pretty good So, like, don't think, like, oh, this card's good or this card's, you know, bad. I mean, try testing it out in this mode. 
<laughs> that that's another good thing about um, this mode. Like if you're trying to test out decks and you don't want to face like really really good opponents, like you know like the level one hundreds, the level two hundred players, and you need to practice a deck for something. Try testing in, in this mode first, like, yeah, I know you're going to have to deal with, like, all the good cards, like, CDs and, and them, but, but, hey, you know, like, test it, test it out here, you know, like, you, you don't have to play in this mode just so you can get cards, you know, you can use this as a way to strategize when you're going against players who use these cards. See what I'm trying to say here? So pretty much, in a way, it's like a win-win situation. Um, win for you and win for me. I mean, pretty much for everyone, you know, in a sense. Um, that, like, this mode could actually help players improve their game uh, before they actually play in the meta. Because you, like, yeah, they will be seeing, like, all those banned cards and and stuff like that. But the thing is that what you're trying to get from this mode, like, when you're playing in this mode, same thing with Fight, fight Club. Like, you're trying to practice just so you can get better and better in the meta modes, like Survivor elo deathmatch dt i think this could be like a great way for players to practice going against good cards and not just a way so players can get cards to complete their collections you know it can help a lot <laughs> if it's when they practice yeah you do have lost warehouse but that's mainly for training leveling up your your cards right but there's no mode that you can go into get more experience when playing against like numerous good decks and not have to worry about the challenge those decks can bring you know like fight club yeah you can only get like what what from it uh lower level opponents and you beat them senselessly and and no one really gives a damn about you um getting to win on them because you look like a jerk <laughs> but hey you know like if you're working on a deck you know for me uh, working on missions, you know, this could be a great way for me to practice with some of these cards. You know, like, I haven't gotten time to practice with um, every single card yet, but, you know, this is a great opportunity for me to do it. So, that's pretty much what I'm trying to say, you know, like, uh, it's a great way for newer players to get into the game. Um, try, um, so they can get free cards. It's a great way for pl like many players who play in the meta to practice beforehand, uh, before a DT or uh, when they need to practice before going into ELO for the week or, or something like that. And also a way for players to practice with their deck. You know, trying to find strategies and hopefully looking for something that they want to find in like flaws that they have so they can fix it uh, good things that they have in the deck so they know like this is what I need to do so that's pretty much it um, the bad news for this mode is that like you like for new for Players who are trying to get new cards, it's mainly commons in a sense, and 
they had difficulties really high in a way that, like, if players already got commons, right? Like, numerous players have commons. I already have most of the commons. I mean, maybe except for, like, the CR commons. But, you know, like, this... This isn't a good thing for players to go to if you're just trying to get new cards. Um, if you're already, like, really good in the game and you have, like, mostly every card in the game. You know, I wouldn't expect you guys to go into this new mode, play the mode, and pretty much uh, try to get all the cards from it that you still need to get because it's mainly like commons rare I mean like mainly commons that you're trying to get and then like after the after completing the third uh, level you're only going after his experience points and what good does that make for players who's already above 50 like there's no benefits after that for level 50s and higher because like once you get to 50 like that's the last leader card you're ever gonna get so that's a problem with I mean that's one of the problems I mean one of the few problems in the mode and then like for the newer players you know the difficulty spike for newer players that can hurt badly you know, like, if players have to deal with that difficulty spike, <laughs> they're going to be going uh, crazy about it. Like, how can I beat this deck when they keep using, I mean, actually, how can I win in this mode when they keep using, like, DJ Cores, Elogias, Kayla CRs, Hilly Billies, you know, like, all this mode. This is trying. Um, here's here's a dispute to this. This is trying to get you ready for those modes. You know, like they're trying to get you ready, just so that you know there will be a huge difficulty when playing in this mode. Or actually this game. Like when you go into meta. It will be difficult. Oh. So. That's pretty much all that I have to say. Like other than that. Like this mode isn't. Bad. Right now. You know there could be some. Improvements later on. That can make the mode better. Like, oh, like, they can add in, like, rares and and uncommon surprises for the mode. Uh, they'll allow, like, continuous battles. Um, I mean, continuous battling more and more to get more cards. Um, or, like, anything else. You know, like, they could try to improve it. So that, like, it can help, like, the level 1s, the level 2s, and higher. I mean, up to, like, a certain point. But when you get to, like, a certain level, I think they they will be giving that difficulty spike. Just so that... Um, players can, you know, uh, have their own difficulty. That's some things that I hope that they can change, but I'm not sure. Oh, look at it now. They have General CR and also Kiki CR. <laughs> look what the cat dragged in. My God, guys. Oh, you guys suck. <laughs> so bad, man. I mean, in dire need to do this. Seriously, this is the 
first time that I'm ever going to face these two in the same battle. First time. It's like, oh my god. I knew something bad was going to happen. Shoot. It's like, oh man. Uh, I don't even know what to do because my team's uh, bad enough. Like, there is no way to block that SOA. Y'all, Death Water Kiki. Yeah, he. I know, like, he's like my big guy in this deck, but still, like, I have Simeon. I have, like, other options to it. Plus, I can actually block these two, but I can't block Rosen. So, I'm gonna go four pill Gert Jan. Oh, and I actually have another side note, you know, for Gert Jan now, you know. I don't know how he got banned. Like, if, if anyone checks the ban list for this game, you know, like for ELO, if you see that Gert Jan is banned, that is hilarious, you know. I'm banning because of the Romana event. That's why Gert Jan got banned. <laughs> It's like really stupid that they banned a card that's like a hundred K or like probably like below five hundred K. I mean not K, uh five hundred clints. Yeah. And and then like <laughs> it's like are you kidding me? Seriously. It's like oh my god, man. Like that is hilarious. No lie, that shit is hilarious. Think about it. Because of that Romana event, that card gets banned. That's hilarious. <laughs> Anyways, that is pretty much it with this video. Um, what do you guys think of this mode? Um, my... Uh, my final thoughts for this mode, uh, or the summary for this video, is actually there are so many good things for this mode. For new players, a great way to get commons so that they can get through collecting like all the commons. For experienced players, it's a great way for player for them to practice in this mode to learn like new strategies when you're going against these good decks yeah you will not see the DJ cores the Vicky CRs the the general CRs you're not going to see those banned cards but you will be able to practice against them and actually get a chance to learn more and more about your deck as well trying to figure out like oh this is a good way to go about it this is a bad way to go about it um, when you're battling in this mode so you're ready to get into the other modes bad news for this mode is for the new players the huge difficulty spike one of the main problems in this mode is the difficulty spike for newer players. If newer players are not able to get themselves ready, they just feel like they're going to give up in a way. For the experienced players, main problem for this mode is collection. Uh, two reasons, actually. For doubles, like, if they get doubles from packs, from all this stuff, I mean, from market, whatever, and they, and they need to sell cards, like, these commons, they're not going to be able to get the commons if players are, if newer players are able to get the cards from this mode. They're going to be complaining, saying, like, 
this is a bad idea, and, and like, we want our news back. If you guys go to the, the forum where it's talking about that, you'll see that. And also, another bad thing is that, like, they'll be getting you these doubles, you know? That's another problem that they're going to have, is just getting more doubles of comics that they don't need. So, that is it with this video. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want to uh, put any opinions on the uh, about this mode in the comment section, you guys are allowed to. I'll be uh, giving you guys my feedback from your... Um, opinions on it or not not just feedback but also a way that you know this mode can go better or stuff like that that is all thank you guys for watching uh, make sure you guys check out the other videos on my channel also check out the other channels as well because their videos you know their videos are different than what I do here in certain ways so again peace out you guys and then have a nice day and start playing in dual mode if you guys get the chance peace